Today, Navalime has been sentenced to 18 months in prison. We thank God it's a brand new day and I really want to thank God for my followers right here on the Buzz UG. My name is Melad Milo aka Fuller. Kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the young mother, Dorothy Nabulime, who recently appeared in a viral video on different social media platforms, physically abusing her two-year-old child, has been sentenced to 18 months in prison. That is one year and six months. Ah, I'm really feeling sad for her. Actually, I'm not in support of what she did, but I'm just feeling bad for her. And uh, I'm not alone. Actually, a big section of Ugandans are saying imprisonment is not the solution, but maybe rehabilitation and castling would be the best solution. But what can we say? I mean, court has decided she's gonna serve her 18 months in prison. And I think this is a lesson to all the mothers, the fathers and the guardians out there who mistreat their children. If they land on you, definitely you're gonna be remanded to prison just like this young mother, Dorothy Navlime. Today, Navalime has been sentenced to 18 months in prison and uh, accordingly it's a very fair uh, sentence uh, from the chief magistrate. I believe it is going to give her a chance to reform. Uh, of course to her it seems to be harsh but we had discussed this with the magistrate earlier and we have presented to the court a report which which was first of all a verbal report and uh, we wanted the, the magistrate to consider the fact that she is 22 years uh, with three children and uh, at some point she was also defiled. We made investigations and found out that she had a very hard childhood when she, when she was growing up and uh, her mother was a single parent. She dropped out of, in, of school in primary seven so her life has been very hard as a, as a girl and because this child is a product of rape of course she's been going through a lot when it comes to issues of provision she has psychosocial issues she needed to be given a, a, a sentence that is light and lenient to give her a chance to to reform and also to be an example to other girls or other parents who are doing the same yeah the child right now is in is out i can see the child is out of danger she's still under a child protection a child care institution she's safe and healing very well well, there you go. The voice right there is for the district probation officer, Luero District. Otherwise, she's still a very young girl. I believe she will come back and still catch up with whatever she's gonna miss outside prison. Well, in other news, I wanna say congratulations to Kenyans. Yes, congratulations to the brothers and sisters from the PLUS254. Dr. William Ruto, the newly elected president of Kenya, has finally taken oath. Over 20 heads of state, including President Museveni of Uganda, are in Kenya to witness the handover ceremony at Kasarani Stadium. Dr. William Ruto becomes the fifth president of Kenya, replacing Uhuru Kenyatta. Please repeat after me. I... I... William Samuel Ruto. Swear. Swear. That I will truly. That I will truly. And diligently serve. And diligently serve. The people. The people. And the Republic of Kenya. And the Republic of Kenya. In the office of the President. In the office of President. Of the Republic of Kenya of the Republic of Kenya that I will do diligently discharge that I will diligently discharge my duties my duties and perform my functions and perform my functions in the office of president in the office of president of the Republic of Kenya of the Republic of Kenya and I will do justice 
and that I will do justice to all to all in accordance with this constitution in accordance with this constitution as by law established as by law established and the laws of Kenya and the laws of Kenya without fear without fear favor favor affection affection or ill will or ill will so help me god so help me god tumpongeze tena kwa makofi rais wa tano wa jamhuri ya kenya tumpongeze wananchi asante pongezi pongezi mheshimiwa rais Meanwhile, listening to Dr. Kiza Besige today in an interview, he said what's happening in Kenya cannot happen in Uganda as long as President Museveni is still in state house. Dr. Besige says he doesn't ever say a day when President Museveni will peacefully hand over power to another president. But he strongly believes that one day President Museveni will be no more and everything in this country will get back to normal. Well, there you go. That is Dr. Kiza Besije, the president of the Red Card Front. I don't know what you think about this, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. But also, what do you think about the 18 months that have been given to, you know, Dorothy Nablime as punishment after, you know, mistreating her very own child? You know, is court really fair to this young lady? You can put your comment down in the comment section right there. Otherwise, my name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and uh, this is the Buzz UG. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.